DFG Science TV Bonded Concrete Breaking Tests How Strong is Ultra Strong? Ultra High Performance Concrete is a high tech material which can reach compressive strengths of over 200 Newton per square millimeter. The high strength of UHPC is used in both the pre stressed concrete trusses as well as the composite beams in order to minimize the dimensions of the components. Ja, wir haben jetzt hier so einen Kühlwürfel, an dem nachher die Materialkennwerte, die Druckfestigkeit und der E-Modul äh, getestet werden. Und äh, im Endeffekt kann man sich vorstellen, dass auf dieser Kantenlänge von 10 mal 10 cm äh, ein Gewicht von 200 Tonnen abgestellt werden könnte. Das entspricht zum Beispiel einer kleineren, einem kleineren Flugzeug, zum Beispiel einer Boeing 777 oder auch eventuell äh, 40 Elefanten. The UHPC that is needed for the current research work at the Institute of Structural Concrete at the RWTH in Aachen is made using the Institute's own concrete mixer. In order to achieve the desired properties of the concrete reproducibly, it's necessary to weigh the individual ingredients of the UHPC precisely. Because the particle size of the quartz powder and silicate dust is in the micro and nanometer range, it's absolutely essential to wear a breathing mask and a protective suit while the concrete is being mixed. First of all, the coarse aggregate materials, basalt and sand, are thoroughly mixed. Next, the binder, cement, micro silica, the water plasticizer mixture and the quartz powder are added to the mixer. Basically, concrete is a brittle material, especially if it's very strong. However, if you add steel fibers, it becomes much less likely to fail abruptly. These long, thin fibers often tend to catch and form bundles, or hedgehogs. In order to prevent these hedgehogs from forming, the fibers are sieved as they are added via a shaker conveyor. The UHPC can now be poured into the intended formwork, in this case the concrete panel of the composite beam. To see if the concrete has the right flow characteristics and can thus be processed easily, a flow table test is performed. Here a slump flow of 65 centimeters was reached, meaning that the concrete has the right flow characteristics and can be taken for pouring into the formwork. It's just a short walk from the mixer in Hall C to Hall G, where the formwork and the test bed are ready and waiting. In order to work under the same conditions as in real life, the experiments at the Institute of Structural Concrete are done on a scale of one to one, whenever possible. This often means that large amounts of concrete need to be mixed. Two batches are needed for the component being made today. Here we can see the freshly poured beam. We just poured this concrete today and because we haven't got a concrete mixer that is big enough to do it in one go, we used two batches for this one. We poured the first batch of concrete, we mixed here in the middle and then we had to keep the beam in motion non-stop to stop the concrete from setting too soon, while the second batch was being made in the other building, which we then put at either end. And hey presto, there we have the freshly poured beam. The UHPC that has just been made and the composite beam will be tested after exactly 28 days. See if everything goes to plan in the next episode. Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.